The president's already claiming his overtures to North Korea's dictator merit another term and maybe a Nobel Peace Prize too. Hanoi, while experts debate whether next week's meeting between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un will be the denuclearization summit or the waste of time summit, the president already seems to be operating with a different name in mind, the Trump 2020 summit. Dot just days before Air Force One is set to travel halfway around the world to let Trump meet with the North Korean dictator a second time in just over eight months, the White House has still not finalized the framework of a possible deal, a meeting schedule, or even a venue. Nothing will be agreed to until everything is agreed to, a senior administration official told reporters Thursday on condition of anonymity. But we are working hard toward a joint statement which will advance each of the initiatives that came out of the Singapore statement. Dot Trump, nevertheless, has taken to claiming that his great relationship with Kim is yet another success for which he deserves re-election, if not the Nobel Peace Prize. When I came in, North Korea was, it looks like it was going to war. You know that. It was going to happen, bad things, he told a rally audience in El Paso, Texas, earlier this month, days before claiming at a White House news conference that predecessor Barack Obama was ready to go to war. In fact, he told me he was so close to starting a big war with North Korea. John Weaver, a top aide to former Ohio governor, John Kasich, a once and possibly future presidential primary rival to Trump, said the country should fear the summit, given Trump's track record with Kim. Who knows what he's going to declare as a victory this time? Weaver said, pointing to Trump's announcement after the first summit last year that he was canceling a joint military exercise with U.S. ally South Korea. Kim knows how to play him. All these foreign despots have figured out how to flatter this useful idiot of ours. Trump's White House did not respond to HuffPost queries as to the basis of Trump's claims about an averted war. Critics, meanwhile, had a simple explanation for it. That's bullshit, said Joshua Pollack, a senior research associate at the James Martin Center for Nonproliferation Studies. The risk of war was something that Trump himself created in 2017. He was the one threatening war. Not Obama. He is both the fireman and the arsonist. Ned Price, a spokesman for the National Security Council under Obama, said Trump's description of his conversation with Obama bordered on complete fiction. Never did Obama say he was on the verge of war, Price said. The Obama administration was consistently of the belief informed by the best thinking and analysis from our intelligence community, war fighters, and diplomats that diplomacy was the only viable option given what we knew would be catastrophic implications of a conflict on the peninsula.